The Death of a Tin Man, a Ray Tintor film. Hello, I'm Jessica Van Warmer, and I'm doing the short film Death of a Tin Man, written by Ray Tintor. Ray Tintor used a narrative cinematography to tell his story of the Tin Man. I chose this film because Death of a Tin Man was one of my favorites that we watched this quarter. I kind of just thought it incorporated everything that we learned, so I figured it'd be good. Here we go! Let's review the plot. The Tin Man started out as a normalish guy named Bill, who was the most hated lumberjack within a 20 mile radius. He ended up having a thing with a girl named Jane, but due to some unfortunate actions and one very unfortunate curse, his entire body ended up being turned to tin. As an opposite result, a meat puppet was created that Jane ended up falling in love with. This kind of ticked off the Tin Man, so the Tin Man fought the meat puppet, ended up kind of losing, gave his heart to the meat puppet to make Jane happy. What a guy. Well, 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 what's in the point of view? The short film Death of a Tin Man was told in a first-person perspective of the Tin Man himself. The narration in this film was omnipresent, which was very helpful to understand what was actually going on because at some points the film got slightly confusing, a little weird, good, but still kind of weird. The film itself was set in Vernon, which is the miracle capital of the world. This ends up playing into quite a big part because the preacher man is known to give miracles, so it's kind of helpful to know the setting ends up being pretty important. This ends up playing into the fact that Death of a Tin Man is not only a narrative film, but it can also be considered action adventure with some sci-fi and a little bit of fantasy all like mixed together to create one very big, very little short film. Um, this can really be seen when the Tin Man's limbs are cut off and replaced with tin, because where does this really happen in the real world? It could, but it doesn't. Hence, sci-fi. Also goes into fantasy during the battle scene when the Tin Man flies through the air to save the day. Because people normal don't really fly. The music of the film. The music choice in the short film Death of a Tin Man was really well thought out. The first song kind of repeats over and over again. It was more of a jolly, upbeat song, kind of just like, you're just kind of chilling through life here. But when scenes get more dramatic, the music cuts out, allowing us to understand and appreciate what's going on in the film. Once again, the music changes during the battle scenes and the revolutions. It becomes more intense, with like a thicker drum beat also helping us to understand that this is an intense part and we should really be paying attention. To wrap things up. As an overall, the short film Death of a Tin Man was a really well thought out and well put together short film. I would recommend it to just about anybody. Thanks for watching.